Hi guys, welcome back. So another storm cleanup video today. So the plan today is to take care of that white pine there. I don't know if you can see, but the top part, it had four main trunks at the top and that was the tallest. And when the, the storm went through, it got hung up. So I wanna try to take that one down safely. The problem is, I'll, I'll throw in some drone footage, is there's uh, three or four aspens that are sitting on it. So it's not feasible for us to take this tree down safely right now without having the other ones fall on us. So it's a little, a little precarious. Um, obviously, that is a massive limb and it's what they call the widow makers because uh, if it falls while you're underneath it, even if you're wearing proper safety equipment, it could be very dangerous. And there's also um, trees behind us there that we have to be careful of. Uh, another aspen that's hung up there. So today, using a tractor, using a new winch, going to try to uh, see what it's made of. So the goal is we're going to cut the base of the aspens and pull them back towards the street. So hopefully they get disengaged from the white pine and then we'll go from there. All right, stick around guys. That's a good winch. That's a very good winch.
Start of day two. Good work yesterday. We took down four trees. The thing that's annoying is they're all snags, so we always have to find ways to pull them off. Um, they always, well, they scare the bejesus out of me, basically, because they're, they're a little unpredictable. And uh, I'm still learning about chainsaws and everything. Uh, but with the tractor and the winch, tractor and winch, we're going to try to keep working at it and uh, we're almost to the point where we can take the snags that are stuck on the white pine and try to uh, make it safe again all right stick around let's get back to sawing
I'm very impressed with that winch. Pulled that broken snag right out of the pine and we didn't even have to stand underneath it. So I'm very happy with that. So now the plans to try and get rid of this last snag. It's the last one that's really dangerous and in an unfortunate location. Once that's taken care of, we cut the base. We try to pull from this side, it's really jammed. So we're gonna do what we did, the same thing with the other ones, we're gonna pull that way. Just enough that this part here unhooks and just falls over. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use that one for lumber anyway, so it can just stay there on the ground, nice and safe. I love it when a plan comes together. Now we're gonna buck and limb these trees and start the cleaning up process. Ah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So this was our cleanup of all the snags and uprooted tree that were in the way to get this white pine down. Uh, now only the top section is still stuck in the white pine. At this point, uh, looking at the leaves, stuff is starting to brown, branches are dying. So I'm not sure this tree is gonna survive, unfortunately. So we've made the decision to, to take it down uh, for sure, I will want a bigger chainsaw with a bigger bar to take it down. Um, I have an Echo CS590, which is a very, very solid saw. Granted, it's the one I own, so I like it. Uh, I've used a Steel 362 and a Husky 560 or 555. And of course, uh, Husqvarna Professional and Steel Professional saws are better but uh, the echo served its purpose and i was uh obviously budget consensus at that time uh, very happy with the tractor the kubota l4060 doing an amazing job and the new winch skating winch the uh, eiglin 3501 has uh, come in quite handy you saw it pulled some of the snags from a safe distance which means i don't have to be under that tree to try and cut it and free it up so i was very satisfied with that and uh, now it's just that one branch left. And uh, that section is still a lot of uprooted tree and a lot of snags, but none of them are in a precarious position where they could fall down with strong winds and either damage my septic field or my leaching field and, uh, or fall on somebody. So at this point, this section is almost complete. I'll wait until I have that bigger saw to take down that white pine and hopefully make it safe for everybody again. Uh, I've tried to keep as many of the nice logs I can. I do plan on getting a sawmill at some point. So I'm trying to save up all those nice logs that I can. Uh, I've noticed that the aspens that broke in half usually were quite rotten in the middle. Some of them had a, a fungus in them. And the ones that were simply uprooted usually were, uh, it was very solid wood. So I skidded them in the back section where I'm starting to pile some logs for the day that I do have a sawmill. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.